What's up, gentlemen? Welcome back. We are at a new top secret location. Unfortunately, I can't tell you, but we had a pretty good day so far. It is over 100 degrees. Well, it feels like over 100 degrees. The water temp is 87.7 degrees. Very hot. And I hope everyone is having a happy 4th of July. And I'm sorry, guys, that I released my video of the <laughs> San Luis Pass not knowing that Galveston has completely closed down all their beaches. What's up, Q Outdoors? Welcome in, gentlemen. Any flounder? Yeah, we got some flounder. I lost some flounder too, but the flounder, they are here. Uh, but not right now because of the slack tide. And how do you like the uh, picture orientation now, guys? I got a new, my ram mount, I finally got replaced. Got a new base for it now. Now you're able to have a better view of me. What's up, man? Welcome, welcome. You have, you, you have a better view of me now. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's a plus. Uh, we are at a secret location, top secret. So secret, I can't tell you, man. If I tell you, we'd be, uh, we get in trouble for trespassing. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But uh, new spot, new marsh. Pretty good, man, pretty good. Even though, although it is, it, technic technically, my buddy that's fishing with me said, it's a slow day today. Even though I had a pretty good day, it's a slow day. Um, but he said this, this marsh is on fire majority of the time what's going on man happy fourth to you too thank you thank you glad you guys are in are you guys able to go fishing or what's going on with you guys man it is really nice out here the only bad thing is uh there's hardly any wind and um it's really hot i've gone through almost a gallon of water it's so hot what's going on gentlemen see here happy fourth happy fourth going tomorrow there you go buddy that's what I like to hear going tomorrow went yesterday to San Luis again only caught four flounder big greasy what do you mean only caught four flounder that's a good day bro catching two flounder is a really good day you can't you can't catch a limit all the time <laughs> Hi man, heading out to Port O'Connor. There you go, good job. Port O'Connor should be nice. Went to Anahuac Tuesday, caught two sharks, and fourth gar, four, four gar. Uh, were, you, were you trying to target shark and gar? If you did, that's a good day. If you didn't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, so what's been going on, gentlemen? Someone stole your outboard, dude. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope you're able to, uh, hopefully you, you uh, submitted a police report and hopefully they'll find it. I'm not sure. I don't know. That sucks though, man. I'm sorry to hear about that. Oh, you're looking for Gar and the shark were surprised. There you go, man. I don't know what the big deal is with catching Gar. Maybe it's because I don't really target Gar, but I know I've, I've, I've hooked into them before and they fight. They fight hard as redfish, or even harder, the bigger ones, because they're just pure muscle. But, uh, you know, I don't, you guys know me. I don't really target gar on purpose. <laughs> when I do hook up with them, it's, it's, uh, it's not intentional. I have one question. Are all the beaches closed? Can someone answer that for that gentleman, please? Are all the beaches closed? I know Galveston is closed, uh, which that would include San Luis Pass, uh, Galveston side, because that's part of Galveston, uh, Galveston still. So someone can please answer that question. Is Matagorda closed? Corpus is closed. What, what else is closed? That sucks, man. That really does suck. I'm like really sad that the beaches are closed because I really wanted to go back to San Luis Pass before they close and try to target some more flounder. But just that's just sometimes the nature of the beast. And the Freeport Jetty tomorrow for the first time. Hope it goes well with COVID-19. Yeah, good luck, man. Six feet, bro. Stand six feet, okay? I'm telling you what, guys. COVID is nothing to be joking about. You got to take it serious, okay? Just trust me from firsthand. I've already seen many people die from COVID, okay? I'm not trying to make this doom and gloom a live stream. 
but I just want to warn you guys, it's, it's pretty serious. Okay, enough of that. So, uh, where are you guys fishing tomorrow? Anyone going to the Freeport Marsh? Who's going to the Freeport Marsh? Rockport will be open next week. Rockport will be open next week, back open on July 7th. Just for the holiday is closed, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I, th I was reading in the Chronicle that the Galveston beaches were closed possibly throughout the whole summer. If that's the case, dude, that really sucks, man. Because I, just for the city of Galveston itself, because I know majority of their money is from tourism. So if you shut down the beaches, man, that's, that's not good, dude. That is not good at all. And it sucks for me because I, I really like San Luis Pass. I actually wanted to go to San Luis Pass um, to see if we can catch some more flounder. Just fish. Yeah, I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. But at the same time, I'm trying to give you guys information. So no one really answered my question. Are the beaches closed or what? I don't know, man. You guys help each other out, man. Let me know too. What's what's open? What's closed? From the Gal from uh, from reading Chronicle, Galveston is going to be closed. There you go. Galveston is closed. But I don't know about other beaches like Matagorda, um, Sargent. I guess that'd be Matagorda too, right? Uh, Brazoria, I guess. Would be another one, but does that count as Matagorda? I'm not sure. Ugh. Oh man, I really hate these line tangles. That's one bad thing about using these micro baits is all the line tangle because the line is so thin. It gets annoying sometimes, especially when there's a lot of wind. But then I look at the positives of the fish that I can catch with micro lures and the cons go out the window. I don't know, man. That's a good question about fishing from the roadside. I really don't know. I, you got to check with your local authority, I guess. I mean, I would assume probably not because they want to avoid people gathering too much in one place and fishing off the bridge or fishing the bank, even a jetty. I mean, I would think, you know, that's uh, you're looking for people to start congregating close and then, you know, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I don't know, man, you got to. You gotta find out from your local authorities. I couldn't tell you. So what's up with everyone? So there's 60 people in here and none of y'all are fishing, right? <laughs> Who's working today? Is today's, today's Friday, right? Today's Friday or Saturday? Dude, I have all my days mixed up. Who's working? Texas City is closed, huh? I mean, that's kind of not a surprise because I've tried to, I tried to go there a couple months ago and they kicked me out of uh, Skyline, Boule Skyline Boulevard Street. Um, that street, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. It leads to the bridge or the gates rather. That was close, but. Fishing tomorrow, working today, getting off at six, time and a half. I guess if you can get overtime, man, time and a half actually sounds pretty good. So you can buy uh, expensive fishing equipment. <laughs> fishing Sunday morning. All right, man. You're going fishing on Sunday for a week. That sounds like a good plan, brother. That sounds like a really good plan. Ain't nothing wrong with fishing a week.
So this marsh is I'm at, it's, uh, it's new to me. This is my first time here. It's um, a lot of bait. Man, this year, fishing has been really, really tough and really weird. I don't know about you guys, but like, um, what I mean by that is just there's so much bait, more bait than I've ever remembered in the marsh or fishing in general. I mean, there's just so much bait. And in my opinion, it's been, it's been a little bit more tough to catch fish because I feel like the fish are, you know, they have all this, this fresh bait that they, all they can eat. You know, why would they really go for your lure? You know what I'm talking about? You guys feel that way? It's been, um, it's been pretty tough 2020. I mean, 2020 is just a trash can year in my opinion. It's just been a really bad year. And uh, the fishing hasn't really been up to par in my opinion. And some of you are catching fish, man. You guys are just professional. What can I say? You guys are able to hook into a lot of fish. I wish I was able to do that too. But I can't. But in general for me, it's been pretty tough catching fish because I'm competing with all this bait. You know, but I'm not going to complain too much. I mean, I'm still enjoying my time out here. Yeah, a lot of babies, I agree. A lot of small little fish. I've been catching a lot of small little fish too. It's just uh, it's just been one of those weird, weird, weird years. I can't explain. And today's no different. There's tons of bait out here in this new marsh, tons. So I, I mean, you gotta be extremely lucky. Throw your lure right in front of the face, uh, fish's face and at the same time, they gotta be wanting to hit it because just because you throw it in their face doesn't mean that they wanna hit it. There have been many times when I try to sight cast a redfish, I throw a curl tail, the curl tail, and nothing happens. They just ignore it. They look at it and they just move on. <laughs> Even the paddle tail has been pretty tough. Paddle tail is pretty good at sight casting also. Big Greasy, I don't think San Luis Pass is going to be open Monday, man. You got to check. I think uh, they might close for the whole summer, bro. I'm not, hopefully I'm wrong, but if Galveston says they're closing for the whole summer, San Luis is part of that. I don't know, man. Man, check. Maybe, hopefully I'm wrong, dude. Ho hopefully I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, it sucks, man. This year has been really crappy, obviously, because of the COVID-19. One, th one thing about this marsh though is uh, I haven't really seen any alligator gar. I've seen two. And usually I see a ton of alligator gar in the marsh. Why am I catching more flounder than reds? That's what I'm saying, man. The reds are, um, they're just gorging themselves of all that shad and all the mullet that you see in our uh, Texas coast. And it's just been harder for them to Eat your lure, I guess. That's that's my theory. It's harder to catch them, man. I don't know. If you, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you you guys disagree. I don't know. Let me know. But yeah, fishing's been tough for 2020. But we still love fishing, don't we, gentlemen? We still go out and we still spend the time and money and effort to try to catch that fish. Where did I get my apparel gear for using for fishing? This is all Sims. Uh, I don't really only use Sims fishing gear because Sims have has been uh, very, very good. I've I bought like four or five fishing shirts and I've had them for three years and they still look brand new and they still work really great. So I recommend going with Sims. They're expensive, uh, but you know, the face mask, the gloves, shirt, socks, waders, shoes, it's all Sims. I only use Sims. Uh, 
Is Lewis Bay Camp good to fish off the dock? I don't know, man. I never fished off the dock at Lewis Bay Camp. I would assume probably not. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys that fish Lewis Bay Camp could chime in, but I don't think so, in my opinion. What plastics are we using today? Ah, good question. All right. Well, I was using a bunch of different plastics, but uh, I've caught my good fish on the hothead, the new penny, putting some stink on it, but I think I'm going to change it out. I caught another good fish on, where'd it go? On my Daiwa Office Air with a suppressor and with the 3.3 Guggen Bait swim bait, saucy swimmer. I caught a good fish on that. This is the 1 8 ounce owner hook. And then uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to catch another fish on, um, on this. This is my Daiwa Steez Air. You guys saw the video where Digitaka hooked it up. Suppressor rod. And clickbait. I'm trying to catch a fish on this. They just, they don't want to hit the clickbait today. I don't know why. I did get a couple bites, but yeah, it didn't work out. You need to try them bug lures soon. Yes, you do. Absolutely, brother. You live on the Texas coast. You like to fish for redfish and, and uh, flounder and trout. You got to use bugs. What's the gear ratio on that Daiwa Steez Air? It is 9.1. 9.1 to 1. Very, very fast. I love it. So lightweight. I think I'm going to change out this clickbait. I'm going to use a... I think I'm going to use um, one of those Japanese micro lures that uh, Digitaka hooked it up with. Um, I might go back to the bugs, but let's go and change that out right now. Let me show you guys. All right, we're gonna clip this off right there, just like so. And someone is bumping into me. <laughs> you gonna push me back to the launch, bro? <laughs> All right, let me show you. He's giving me a little shove, guys. He's uh, live streaming bombing me. Check this out, gentlemen. This right here, this right here is the Japanese lure. The 1 8 ounce jig head from japan it's rubber too it's crazy 3.5 grams this little paddle tail is also from japan valley hill you guys saw the video so i caught my flounder at st louis pass with this so i'm going to try this out i haven't used this all day so we'll see what happens Hopefully we'll be able to catch another fish, man. Yeah, that would be awesome. Are you still live streaming? Yeah. <laughs> this guy wants to be on okay. camera. Show him. He's like, what about me? Here, check this out, gentlemen. Look at this fish. Look at our redfish. <laughs> Look at our redfish. <laughs> Quick clicking rods. That's a redfish right there, gentlemen. All right, there we go. All right, there we go, guys. Trilene knot. I'm gonna use this lure right here, see if we can catch a fish on it. I caught a lot of flounder on it, so uh, perhaps it'll work again, who knows. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Oh, there's some shrimp just popping uh, right there. Look at that. Shrimp. You know, that's a, that's a dead giveaway, something down there. Yeah, something's, something's, there. something's chasing that shrimp. And I just took my shrimp lure off. <laughs> uh, man, there's too much bait. I've been telling my crowd, man, this year has been tough with fishing because of all the bait that we have to compete against. Yep. Over, I think it's because we had such a warm winter. Yeah, the warm winter, too. Yeah, unbelievable amount of bait. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, baby. Hit this lure. You're chasing that shrimp. Yeah, see, you're right, man. Why would they want to chase a rubber, a rubber plastic, or not rubber plastic, a plastic lure when they can have the real thing, right? Yeah. Makes no sense. Let's see, what did I miss here? Been killing our reds on hoagie. 
anyone selling a Hobie. <laughs> man, get an old town, man. You don't need no Hobie. I don't use a Hobie. I use a Toby. I use a Toby. I don't use Hobies no more, guys, if you haven't noticed. I use Tobies. Toby in back. Like in front. <laughs> Tobies. Right here at this. Oh, you got hit? Yeah, look. Did you get hit, really? Yeah. It's probably that bullshit fish. <laughs> uh, where do I get these masks? From Sims. Sims. Yeah, Old Town is sold out till September, man. I saw that, dude. I mean, that just shows the quality of their uh, products, man. People are buying into that new autopilot because it's, it's really, it's legit. It's a legit kayak. I mean... You guys see me use it, you see Mark use it. It's sold out everywhere, dude. It's a legit kayak. Yeah, right at this apex right here is where I got dumped by that flounder and I lost him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Do I have something on or is it grass? It's, look, grass fish. Look at this, guys. Sometimes I think these are flounder. But it's really grass, the grass fish. Skinny grass fish. Skinny grass fish. This guy's slot. Look at that. He's probably about 28 inches. <laughs> <laughs> how hard is it? How hard is it to cast the bugs, hothead, and clickbait with a bait caster? See, it it is pretty tough, man. Most guys uh, that when they try out the bugs or you know, the curl tail, the hotheads, clickbait, they have to use a spinning rod and reel setup because they're not used to. And your, the bait cast reels that you guys have, the big ones with like the 30 pound braid and the 50 pound leader line, that it's not gonna work. You gotta have like small ultralight equipment. And I know it gets really expensive, but that's just the nature of the beast when you wanna play with micro lures. You gotta get an ultralight rod. Like my suppressor, this is extreme, this is specifically built for micro lures for the bugs 1 8 1 16 ounce so you can fling it using a bait casting reel just like a spinning reel setup um, now do you have to get a bfs no you don't have to get no bfs reel although it does help um, there's several models in the u.s like the loose uh custom light slp that 4.8 ounce reel which is under 300 bucks i know it's, it's pretty expensive for a lot of guys but Considering what you get and this, and what, you know how much power that little loose has, that'll be able to throw the bugs. Or the SLX DC is another good model. You can throw a one eighth ounce bugs, but one sixteen ounce probably not. Uh, what else am I miss? Corrado seventy. Corrado seventy is another small reel uh, that's probably a little bit bigger than the Steez Air, but it's smaller than the hunter size bait casting reels that you're used to, like the SLX DC. Wait, I think the SLX, SLX DC is 150 size. But anyways, a Corrado 70, you're able to throw 1 8 ounce lures, but not 1 16 ounce. But if you want to get into ultralight lures where you can throw a 1 8 ounce and below, you, I, I hate to say it, but you have to get a BFS type reel. And if you saw my review, the cheapest BFS reel that Shimano makes is a Scorpion BFS right here, which is this guy right here. This guy is able to throw a 1 16th ounce, no problem, just like a spinning reel setup. And I uh, have it on an ultralight setup right here. You see, this is a 1 8th ounce. No, I think this is a 1 16th ounce Bugs Hothead. And you're able to flick it. So, yeah. I hate to say it, but if you want to play with the micro ultra lures, you have to get the, the equipment surrounding it. Meaning, you got to get a good reel that's able to handle the 1 8th. Uh, the 1 16th ounce is going to be a BFS reels, obviously. You have to get an ultralight rod. And then, don't forget your line. You have to get the thin braided line. This is a Japanese, as you saw in the video. This is made by Seeger. This is, look how thin this is. This is 0 0.8. I bet you can't even see it on the freaking video. It's so thin. This would be equivalent to like, I don't know, like braided line that's two, rated two pounds here in the United States. That's how thin this is. But this is 15 pound, 15 pound uh, power. So this thin line, the Japanese have figured out how to make such thin braided line and able to deliver like 15 pounds 
of power. And then your leader line, your leader line also has to be thin. This is Seeger 12 pound, no, I'm sorry, this is Yozuri top, top notch, I think it is, fluorocarbon 12 pound. Uh, I might even use 10 pounds at times, but I really like the 12 pound. It's able to uni uni knot with my braided line, this really thin braided line without any issues. Never had any uh, slippage issues, never had a break. Um, I've, been, I've caught a lot of nice big fish off of it. So it works, it works. So um, yeah, like I said, if you want, if you want to play the, the BFS micro games, just, you have to get the equipment, unfortunately. That's just the way it is. Sorry guys, I just went on a ramble. <laughs> back to fish, fishing. <laughs> Did your cork go back under? Did I miss something? No, I just been, been bullshit, bullshit fishing. Bullshit fish? The croaker? No, no good coolers yet. Well, don't feel bad. I haven't gotten a hit yet on mine. Oh, there you go. Nope. No? Psych. That just must have been a big bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> must have been a bullshit crab. What's up, gentlemen? What's your rod tip action? Just bought extra fast tip. Guess it would be better with medium action. Um, this is a fat, um, I wouldn't say it's extra fast. You know, I don't know. That's a good question, man. I really apologize. I don't know the, I think it's fast action, man, but I could be wrong. The best person obviously to ask is going to be Jake, who is the master rod builder at Old 18. He can answer all those questions. He'll give you all the nerdy numbers. I mean, with me, I'm just like, he puts it in my hand, tells me how does it feel. I like, I'm saying it feels pretty good. And he's like, I already go fish with it. And I go fish with it and I catch fish and I tell him what I like, what I don't like. And then he translates that into the numbers so yeah i guess that didn't really help i don't know the action but it's it's uh i would say extra fast maybe come down to south padre island hit up south bay uh that's a plan one day man we'll see i already know about south bay Let's see what else i miss hey, i got one of your viewers on the phone oh yeah who Matt. <laughs> tell him. Uh, tell him. Not working. <laughs> Is it not working? <laughs> I just switched my kitchen sink faucet, and my wife loves me. I get to go fish. There you go, buddy. You gotta play the game, right? Marriage is a game. Got to play the game. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Whatever you got to do to get out in the water, I guess. I mean, no judgment for me, man. You got to do what you got to do. All right. All right, a little wake right here. Let's see who's home. Looks like mullet. All right, that was just mullet, guys. Nothing to be excited about. Let's put some juice on. Who uses juice? Who do you guys use juice? I love this juice. This juice has come through clutch at times. So I'm going to put a little bit in the slit here. <laughs> put some in the slit. Put my juice in the slit. And then I am going to throw my rod out there. That's cheating. Yeah, boy. You know how I do it. All right, let's see. Let me look at my map here. All right. Got a long way. I think I'm going to head back, man. It's already almost 12.30. San Luis will be open on Monday morning. Oh, okay. Big Greasy. Good job, buddy. Good job being uh, a go-getter. That's cool, man. St. Louis is, uh, you guys need to hit up St. Louis. If you haven't seen my video yet, watch the video. That was very recently. The flounder are there. The water is absolutely clean. I've never seen St. Louis that clean before. I don't know, it's because people just haven't really been fishing and the water is just not as polluted. I don't know, man, it's so clean. 
it was cleaner yesterday. No way. <laughs> That's where when times are hard. I get you. I understand what you're saying. Man, I forget my polarized lenses, man. I, how many of you guys always forget things, man? When I go fishing, I get too excited. And I just, I just forget a lot of things. That's just, I, I really, I don't know, man. I need to take some uh, memory, memory supplements. Do I go to Sergeant? Yeah, I go to Sergeant sometimes. Any bites? No, not recently. Got a boater over there. He's been sitting there for a while. He must have found a trout hole. Here's another tip, guys. If you ever, if you kayak fish and you see a boat or a kayak just sitting at one place, honestly, that's a dead giveaway that they're catching fish, right? Usually the, the person that, uh, the common sense person, the angler, if, if he or she is catching fish, they're not gonna move. So just keep in mind, if you see a boat or a kayak that's been sitting there for more than 30 minutes, chances are uh, they've hooked into some good fish. Just FYI. All right, we're crossing this uh, small back lake in this back marsh. It's actually not too small. It's actually a pretty big back lake. Does anyone know where I'm at? I know you guys are looking at the structure. Can someone guess where I'm at? Exactly, where am I fishing at? <laughs> Does anyone know where I'm fishing at? Cold Pass. Damn, that's a pretty good guess, man. Baytown. No, not really. All right, the tide has really stopped, man. There's like no movement and it's hot. Dang, the water temp hit 89.2 degrees. Holy smoke, it's hot. <laughs> Somewhere far enough to have to slip in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> That's very good observation. Obviously you follow me on Instagram, which I appreciate. If you guys have not yet, you guys need to follow me on Instagram, rx underscore angler. And uh, be up to date. Uh oh. What is this? Is this a fish? Oh no, it's it's not a fish. It's a oyster fish. <laughs> At least I know I'm bouncing my uh, lure on the ground. All right, come on, dude. Yeah, there's oyster here, man. That's a pride. There's oyster here. Yeah, it's just right there in that area. I didn't know there was oyster here. San Antonio Bay. No, sir. I am not in San Antonio Bay. I did not know there's oyster. That's the first time I've seen oyster here all day. Crazy. That should give you a hint of where I'm at. All right, we need to put some more juice on. We're heading to a drop off that I want to target for a sec. Juice. All right, here we go. Swan Lake. Okay, you guys are pretty smart. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a drop off. Right here, the raft, four feet. This is where I caught, where, this is where I got hit earlier and I lost a flounder. That's why I know there's a drop off here. So we're gonna fish it for a minute. Good to me. 
you enjoy my channel. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I got hit here earlier, guys, right here at this corner. Y'all want to throw your lines for a sec? Right here, there's a drop off to four feet. Small world, man, small world. Yeah. Some people just want to watch people fish, that's it. All right, guys, enough of me. I know you're tired of looking at my ugly mouth. I'm in Freeport. You got it, man. I'm in Freeport. Let me switch it. Here, let me show you guys. There you go. How's that? You guys, check out the view, okay? I know you guys are tired of seeing my ugly mugs, so I'm going to give you a marsh view. All right, let me know. if you like this view, guys? Would you rather look at this view? It does look a lot like Freeport, though. It does. It is Freeport. Oh, yeah, it is. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all catch anything at the Freeport Marsh today, guys? Swan Lake? <laughs> yeah, this, this it definitely looks like Freeport. Did you get Dow chemical in the, in the top movie? Yeah, no, it's actually not Dow. It's DuPont. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, fish. Stop playing around. I have a feeling we're gonna catch a fish on the way back. Man, these uh, these reds, dude, they're uh, I'll tell you what, man, they are, I don't know, man, they're like retarded. <laughs> Definitely, they're being elusive today. Yeah, very elusive. Kenny Love says, fishing can be really tough in the AMs after gorging themselves all night under a full moon. Yes, sir. You are 100% absolutely right. That's the type of thinking I like to see. Exactly my, my, exact, my exact thoughts. Fish that drain, at least target it a little bit. Throw a couple times. Yeah, right over here on the other side of Nick is where we saw that one with the back out of the water. Oh, y'all saw a red in there? Yeah. Yeah, he was in there crushing on bait and swimming up real shallow. How, how come y'all didn't catch him? Nah, he was being elusive when we got back there too. Really? Where's the entrance? Right there, huh? He still might be in there, dude. Laying down somewhere in that mud. Man, the water temp's almost 90 degrees, bro. Really? That's pretty hot. It's been it's the hottest so far this year. You got it? Got some grass fish. Grass fish. You can buy that grass fish in Amsterdam. They say the best thing to do with the, the grass fish is smoke them. Smoke the grass fish. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, with this with this high temps, man, it's I don't think they're gonna be really in the shallow anymore. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I, if I was a fish and it's like 90 degrees, I I go to like a cooler spot. Okay, this is the entrance of that back lake that they say they saw a redfish. What kind of glasses are the best to see the fish? Costas, glass, green. Polarized. polarized. Well, all coasters are polarized. Yeah, you have to get the glass version though. It's super clear. Might be a trout. Might be a gator. It's 
some little mullet that just jumped right here, right there. He's just probably being retarded. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait till fall is back here when the weather temps are much nicer and the water temp is much cooler. Later, bro. Are you in my Hobie or New Old Town? I don't, I don't use a Hobie, I use a Toby. I don't use Hobies no more, they're called Tobies, with the T. Come on, fish, come on, man. Remember those uh, beer commercials, Real Men of Genius? Those were very funny. Reason why, reason why I uh, remember that is because I was eating a, uh, a taco salad the other day and uh, they had a commercial a while ago about the taco salad inventor. <laughs> it was, God, that was a funny commercial. <laughs> it's like a 12,000 calorie salad. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to catch a fish right at this corner, guys. Did you get blown up? That was a fish. Good job. You set the like a bass? Oh, Asus, my man. Thank you, brother, for $1. I appreciate that. You're the man, Asus. I appreciate that. All right, here's a drain right here, guys. Right there, gentlemen. There's a drain right here. We're gonna target that for a sec. Even though the tide is not moving, it really makes no sense to target a drain in my opinion, but we're gonna target it anyways. Oh shoot, you see that shrimp jump right there? Something is chasing it. Sometimes I think shrimp are just retarded. All right, no one home. Let's move on to the apex. No live shrimp, sir, because I don't know how to keep them alive. Apparently, uh, apparently, even if I have an aerator, they die on me. Oh, there's a little blow up right there. It's probably a mullet, but oh, look at that cast right on the money. Shoot, Michael Jordan has nothing on me. Damn it, grass. I guess Michael Jordan does have some on me. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this grass here, gentlemen.
I have to slow it way down. Why do you say that? Why do you say I have to slow it way down? Am I by Harbor Walk? That's where I live. No, I am not by Harbor Walk. Find a hole. <laughs> oh, that just sounds funny. All right, man, there's a hundred plus people watching this live stream. How come you guys are not fishing? Why are you guys not fishing? I always wonder that. Man, that slack tie just really made things super slow now. Bag eight this morning, damn. Some of you guys are professional, man, seriously. Some guys, some of these viewers, man, they catch a lot of fish. I don't know how they do it. All right, gentlemen, it's been 47 minutes and we have not accomplished anything. <laughs> I apologize, really. Unfortunately, I can't give you your 47 minutes of life back, but I do want to thank you for joining me on this live stream. And uh, hopefully this little view of the marsh has really brightened your day. That's the aim of these live streams because I really just want to show you guys what it's like out here. I know some of you guys can't go out fishing all the time and a lot of you guys love to go out fishing. But unfortunately, just can't do it because of work reasons, family reasons, whatever reasons. So that's why I do these live streams for you guys. But um, yeah, thanks, man. I'm going to let you guys go, okay? Thanks, Ben. I, I appreciate it, buddy. We'll see you guys next time, all right? Later.